I'll turn it over to the Lieutenant Governor and then I'll answer any questions that you, you might have. Thank you so much. Thank you, Governor. <clears throat> um, looking forward to that game, go Red Sox. So I want to um, give an update to all of you about the areas that has been priority for my office. Um, there are four um, areas in particular that we have been doing a lot of work. The first one is the small business community. Uh, many, of, uh, many of you know already, a small business has been a priority for me since I was um, before in the Providence City Council. I'm always looking for ways to support our small business community. Um, especially, we're supporting also uh, now the business are coming out of the pandemic, reaching now to the <coughs> Department of Health and ensuring that we are the liaison between the small business community and the Department of Health those businesses that are looking for uh, vaccination or to set up a vaccination clinic on their sites, uh, my office is uh, available, has been helping them to connect with the Department of Health and to make that happen. Um, also, I just want to, um, this morning we just had our meeting of the <coughs> Small Business Advi Advisory Council, and we had some very important updates from the Commerce uh, Department. Um, the supply arrived, and also we heard from the uh, associate director from the Office of Diversity, a Korean opportunity, Tomas Avila, who gave us an update on um, the work that he's doing. Thank you to uh, Governor McKee for prioritizing uh, the, um, to make sure that we are compliant with the state law of the 10% uh, for minority business um, MBEs and WBEs, which is the minority on business and women's on business. We are making progress on that front, um, especially right now, the partnership between um, the Office of Diversity and RIE to make sure that we comply with the law. And again, thank you, Governor McKee, for prioritizing that, uh, making sure that that happens. So we're making progress. Uh, also, I have been um, attending uh, different chambers of commerce in also business organizations in collaboration with um, the Director of Business Regulation, Director Liz Tanner. We're visiting the different organizations, uh, Chamber of Commerce, and also uh, talking about the work that we are doing, how we can be a liaison for them and the different departments of the state, but also uh, making sure that we listen to what are the concerns and the issues that they're facing right now as they are trying to com come out of the pandemic and get their, their business back um, online. Um, the second area in which um, is the strategy that we have been doing a lot of work is again about the housing. Um, housing continue to be uh, a, cr a crisis for the state of Rhode Island. We are at a good moment right now in which we have the support of the governor, we have the support of, uh, besides Governor McKee, we also have a Speaker Shikashi, we have the uh, Senate President Ruggiero who is also prioritizing housing. We're all in the same page as, as well as the General Assembly, making sure that we address the housing crisis that we are, um, have right now. The third um, area, oh, I just want to remind that we're going to continue our housing uh, conversations. The next one is going to be on Thursday, um, the 21st at noontime. Make sure you connect to uh, us through the Facebook page. Uh, we're going to be, uh, the next conversation is going to be about the role of municipalities in the development and creation of affordable housing. You don't want to miss that one, so make sure you turn for that one. Um, the third area that we do uh, a lot of work with is with the military families. And I'm very pleased to report that we have been making a lot of progress in working with the Gold Star families to make sure that we fundraise for the monument that they want to build at the Exeter Cemetery. We're making a lot of progress within the last um, month. We have uh, raised $30,000 within the last month. We're getting close to the goal, and you're gonna be hearing more about that soon, but if you're still out there and you're able to make a contribution, please reach out to, to my office or come to visit our website. In, in my website, you can have a, a link that will take you right to, to the Gold Star families and the uh, fundraising for the monument. 
So um, we're also going to be having soon the Operation Holiday Cheer. We're going to have a press conference soon to announce those service, uh, uh, the programs that we're going to be doing. And we're going to start the process of the Holiday Cheer to make sure that we send care packages to all of the service members from Rhode Island that are uh, stationed overseas. So make sure you connect with us for that if you want to volunteer. The fourth strategic area that we are working on is the long-term care. And some of the challenges in the long-term care um, that I've been um, working on and getting uh, feedback from the different groups is about the workforce and the challenges for um, uh, ensuring that we have enough workforce available. And um, um, we had our meeting of the long-term coordinated council last week. And one of the things that uh, we approve as the council was actually, um, we approved a motion that we sent to the governor requesting the use of the um, ARPA funding to help supplement the, uh, the pay of the home and health care workers. Um, the committee felt very strong that this is an area that needs more support, and we are continuing to do uh, work to um, help the, the long-term care facilities and also um, increase the workforce. In combination with, like, workforce is a, is a big challenge that we're working on. I also have been hearing a lot from daycare and child care centers um, with the challenges that they're facing with workforce, uh, with the workforce. So uh, we have been very busy, uh, busy working on, on, on all these um, areas in I'm so glad that we have this opportunity to bring the voice of the Rhode Islanders to the different um, departments of the state of Rhode Island and be an advocate for all of you.